Hello everybody and good evening. My name is Sora Darkchild and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X. Last time we pretty much just got started with this game and took on our first Maverick which was Chill Penguin. Nice job fool, you drop down an edge to get started. Well, uh, and then I decided to not push my luck and stop after getting a game over on uh, what's his name? Storm Eagle. Don't even think about it. Now then, where was I? Oh yes, uh, we came close, I think, to getting halfway through his level. All I can do now is just try again. And uh, I think we found an e energy tank, which I'm not sure how those things work in this game. I'll probably find out as we go, or look into it later. For now, all I want to do is just try my best to get through this level without dying so many times. This is where we found that energy tank in the last episode. I'm gonna have to deal with these things a lot. Okay, two charge shots and they're defeated. Good. And uh, I forgot to mention in the last episode that the uh, artwork for the thumbnails that I've been doing, all artwork of the characters belong to a good friend of mine that's on DeviantArt. I'll send a link to his uh, gallery in the description and down below. I try saying his name, but I worry myself that I might be saying it wrong. And I'm shooting at that to see if I can make it explode and find a secret. So I apologize if I'm going to be taking too long on here. Can I shoot at it while I'm... No, I can't. Okay. Okay. Hmm. These things are flammable. So maybe I can... Nope, too far. I'll come back. I'll probably come back for what's hidden there. For now, let's just uh, try to get through this level alive. Hello, what do we got here? How do I get to that? Hmm. Ooh, there's a life up there. the devil am I supposed to get up there? Is there like a jump dash ability that- There we go! Now I see what we're doing. If I can just pull it off, that'd be great. There! Ha <laughs> 
This capsule contains an enhancement for your helmet. Which will allow you to break some ceiling things with the headbutt. Okay, so we got the helmet upgrade and the boots upgrade. I feel like these are going to be useful. And that was worth the exploration. Now let's see if I can get through this level alive. And probably try to get that one up if it's worth it. I hope that was worth it. If not, then what the devil was I getting that thing for? And I thought these little guys were extinct by this time. Maybe I can regenerate some health before the boss on this on these guys. If I can get them close enough to me, that is. So part of me is I try to uh, regenerate my health a bit. Fallen platforms. I should have anticipated that. I really hope. Hey, that one up is there. Awesome. Let's go get it. Still worth it. Now I feel I need to be quick for this part. There is no way I'm going to survive the boss on something like this. How in the world am I going to survive against the boss battle with this much health? Answer? I can't. So, we're going to die. Alright, you traitor. What do you do for your moves? Okay, so I got a dash for that. Ooh. Like actual eagles. I got a... 
I gotta watch out for a swooping down. Good, I'm right where I should be for fighting him. Don't have to work my way all the way back here. What the? That's a new one. Gotta look out for when he swoops down. Are you done? Fudgy fudge fudge. And I almost had him too. Kinda wish I can switch the controls around, that way it'd be a little bit easier to deal with him. But no, I have to put my index finger to put myself on dash, that way I can try to dash over to him while holding down the charge button. So far, my charge shots have done well on him, but I'm not doing so well on defense against him. Oh, come on! Alright, let's do this. And I think I know what I'm doing for this guy now. Damn it!
One more hit. Come on, come on, come on. One more hit. Gotcha. Two traders down. And now I know how those E-Tank-like items work. Every time I heal myself and I'm at full health, all the remainings would go to the E-Tank for me to use. Now then. Who do I want to go up against next? I'd want to go up against... Let's try... Flame Mammoth. Hmm. I was expecting fire. Why is it all... ice here? Is it because I took out Chill Penguin first before coming here? If so, that's really cool! Each Maverick defeated affects the uh, level of the next Maverick. That's awesome! I sense a secret there. Can I get to that? If I can, I'm not used to the controls yet on this game. I'm used to A button being the jump button. How exactly does that work? I look like I've somewhat got it, but then again, every time I try again, I'm way off. I'll try again later, when I'm not busy with this Maverick. Is there anything worth collecting while I'm on the ground? Ooh, I just increased my health with that heart item. Awesome! I think I might need to replenish uh, my health tank, so as I'm working my way through here, I'm going to try to do just that, while I'll replenishing my own health in the process, if I can. These pickaxe guys are annoying. Hate you guys. Hate to see what this place is like if you didn't take on Chill Penguin first. I know it'd be hard as heck because of the lava, but other than that, 
and the pickaxe people. This would be hard as heck to do. I wouldn't be able to reach that wall if I tried. They're being the living daylights out of me. How are you able to throw those things that far? And my buster shot is not able to jump that high to get up there. Now, what do we got here? Ooh, crushers. Uh, stick to the floor. Except for there. Am I close to Flame Mammoth now? I feel like I am, but I'm not sure. Oh hey, it's those Sniper Joe ripoffs. Not quite the enemy I want to be uh, replenishing my health off of. If I can time my jumps right, that is. I need to get to a spot where I can actually replenish my health before the boss. And I don't mean by facing him. <sighs> and I have to go past that one, don't I? Alright, how many lives do I have? One. Great. Pardon me, I'm going to be replenishing a few things here. Okay, that should be good. Now, let's try to get through this place as fast as we can. And I think the E-Tank that I'm... that I went through the trouble of filling up, that's gonna be for this area, I think, because of these Sniper Joe rip-offs. Or rather, Mace Joe. Oh, for crying out loud. 
forget you, I'm moving on. And that was right near the boss. Of course it was. But I think I know what I'm doing for this one. Okay, I'm on a conveyor belt. With a mammoth. Okay, so he's like Guts Man, I have to jump when he does. That shouldn't be a problem. I hope. He's like a mix of Gutsman, Fireman, Oilman, and Metal Man. Reason why I say Metal Man is because we're both on a conveyor belt that can be switched back and forth. No, 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 stick to Buster. Stick to the Buster. He can reach me from there? One more shot. Gotcha. I'll look for any secrets I missed later. You know, it would be more creative if they called that Heat Wave. Well... I think I'll call it a day for taking down two Mavericks at once today. When we come back, I think the next two I'll be trying to take on will be... Spark Mandrel and... Armored Chameleon, now I remember his name. I mean, Armored Armadillo, sorry. So if you enjoyed today's episode and would love to see more, hit that like and subscribe button, leave a comment if you want, ring the bell to be notified when our next video comes out. We do new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and occasionally Saturday and Sundays. Till the next video, this is Sword Archild, signing off. Have a good night, folks.